up. For the most part, I do it now to get by, but I can handle it. Coach, do you know how me up? Uh, I'm fine. How are you? Same one, same one. Well, I feel good today. Anyone else feel good? You have to think about working. Easy, right? Show beat flipping burgers. I know that I'm the last person that should be saying this. I don't have to worry about me. We are sinners, but we can strive to be good. What do you call cheese? It's not yours. Nacho cheese. <laughs> Is there something going on that I should know about? Some people change. Some people actually change. Yeah, not me. I'm one man. What do I do? This is my view for Half Nelson, released in 2006. Films about teachers can sometimes have a strong possibility of being cheesy and cliched. A hip teacher comes into the school, gets a lot of aggro and trouble from the kids, but over time they actually see that he's quite cool and all is good. However, with Half Nelson, it is the teacher who has the problems. Half Nelson tells the story of Daniel Dunn, played by Ryan Gosling, who has a drug problem. When young student Dre, played by Sharika Epps, happens to catch Dan while he is high, the story unfolds. Just to warn you, there may be some spoilers during this review, so if you don't want to hear them, I suggest you stop listening now. One of the best factors about Half Nelson is that it doesn't bow out to the usual. It is not a situation where Dre spots Dan getting high, then she helps him turn a corner and clean up his act. She is merely a witness to his downfall. There is, mind you, a slight indication that he may be turning a new leaf and starting afresh at the very last shot of the film. But this is just an indication. It is not confirmed. We do not see whether this is successful. Dan has a problem, and he never really makes a clear attempt to help himself. He, in fact, seems to get deeper and deeper into a rut as the film goes on. This is not a film that ends with Dan walking into the classroom, cleaned up and looking well, then it does a freeze frame on his smiling face. It doesn't work like that. And for that, I have a lot of respect for this film. Ryan Gosling, who I had not seen previously in anything, was fantastic. Really subtly done. You get a clear idea of his connection with the kids, but at the same time knowing that anything in his life takes second place to his habit and therefore creates this self-destructive character we see on the screen. Shrika Epps gives one of the best performances by a young actress I have ever seen. She gives a great performance as the character, and it's a really well-written character as well. In fact, Half Nelson was originally a short film made by the writers, and Shrika Epps played the same character in that short film too, so I guess it helps with the authenticity of the performance. I would also like to mention the performance of Anthony Mackie who was brilliant in the film. In terms of filmmaking, I really like the shaky, shaky, handheld, almost documentary approach to certain scenes which really helped give it a more realistic tone and feel. All in all, Half Nelson is a very solid movie anchored by three great performances and a story that doesn't go by the usual rules. Stay away from drinks. Excuse me? Mr. Model A1 Citizen. I don't know!